So I read this article on LinkedIn the other day about uh, a foreign girl living in the Netherlands with like a foreign name and uh, she was applying for a job so she filled out the application form, updated the CV, stuff like that and she was perfect for the job so she sent it, a few days later she got an email back saying uh, like you're not suitable for the job, blah blah, the position wasn't really right for you and uh, you know like sorry blah blah. blah. But she was a bit wary of it, she didn't really understand why she didn't get the job because she was perfect for it and like it fitted exactly like it fitted her experience and stuff like that. So she sent another application letter and the CV, but and she like she kept it all exactly the same. The only thing she changed was her name, like she put a Dutch name on the CV and stuff like that. And she got the job. And I thought, wow, like uh, that is so powerful. Like now it could be because she put it on uh, she put it on LinkedIn, she put it on social media. And now the whole world knows that that company is like racist. And I thought, wow, like that is so powerful nowadays. You, you, as a company, you can't get away with stuff like that nowadays because of social media. And I thought, like, like the way it used to be with internet is there wasn't any social media before social media. The companies could just send like endless amounts of advertisements and calls to action and all that. And there was no one, no one could do anything about it because there was no way. It was like a one-way street. There was no way for people to say like, listen. Uh, like the products are faulty or don't like your service or you know you're just spammy and stuff like that and now with social media it's become like a two-way street so like the consumers and the clients and stuff like that they've gotten their their voice back so now they can say like they can voice their opinion voice their concern stuff like that and that is why like digital marketing has changed so much as well because now you can't just send endless amounts of spam and like promote your products and ask for uh, people to purchase your products and all that you can't do that anymore like it's no longer ask 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 you know like even gary v says uh like he calls it jab 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 right hook like you can't ask you can't just keep giving right hooks you need to like give 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 and then ask so you need to give value up front first and then later on you can ask like for a call to action and I think that's just changed the way social, uh, the way digital marketing is now, because now you just need to provide so much value up front as a sort of like ethical bribe to get people to purchase your products. And uh, like social media is a great way to do that. You can just like you can give uh, you put blog posts on social media, put pictures up with like uh, like re referrals and stuff like that. And did you know that 97% of uh, every online purchase comes through Google and social media like uh, social media is a great way to boost your search engine optimization so that's another reason why you should use social media because like more if you're more active on social media you got a higher SEO ranking get higher in Google Google leads to more like consumers going to your uh, or more traffic to your website so more consumers going to your website and that will lead to more sales anyway just going back to uh, social media and uh, like having to give value up front or not, like companies shouldn't see that as a bad thing. Like this is an opportunity for companies to actually create like a, a, a deeper relationship with the with the consumers and the customers. Because now with social media, you can really engage with the customers. You can really talk to them, like build a relationship. It's like going back to the old days where you had like a local bakery or a local uh, butchers where you actually knew everyone's first name and you knew exactly what people liked and all. Like, we're going back to that era again, but just in a different way. So now it's digitized, but now we can like. Actually find out like what people's preferences are what they like stuff like that so that is a good thing we can actually use that to our benefit and uh, companies can actually use social media to build relationships with the customers and that is another way I can provide value as a company for the customers and that will build a uh, like brand loyalty basically so anyway just to sum it all up as a company you can uh, build better brand awareness with social media uh, you can you can rank higher in Google so you'll have a better search engine optimization with uh, social media social media is also an opportunity to create better relationships with your consumers and customers and this will increase customer satisfaction and build more brand loyalty so anyway i was driving to work and that was just off the top of my head i just wanted to share that with you guys question of the day does your company that you either work for or own use social media let me know in the comments down below guys like this video we got something out of it subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you guys tomorrow because we're doing daily uploads <laughs>